in a dark room. I don't know where. This man appears. And I feel something around my neck. I can't see his face, but he's very close to me. I can hear him saying, just stay still. And then everything goes dark. Have you seen this man? <sighs> Mr. Nielsen has confessed to killing 15 men over a period of five years. How likely is it that you'll identify all 15 of his victims? I'm afraid I don't remember the names. Whilst drinking in Soho, I got into a, a conversation with a Scottish guy. Number 11 was a skinhead type. He had cut here, tattooed on his neck. I have to ask, why did you do this? <laughs> I was really hoping you could tell me that. Someone's just caught saying he's Nielsen's biographer. That's just a rag trying to get a quote. Why would you want to write about a monster like me? I want to know about your upbringing. All of it. If he mentions any names, you have a duty to report them to us. No, it's not as simple as that. Reversing the course of justice is very simple. I'm afraid the confessions only take us so far. What do you mean? He gave you exactly what he wanted to. Are you saying you planned this? Do these seem to you the actions of a man in his right mind? I just want to get the truth. Not you. He's not my friend. I know who he is. Do you? Nelson may have been lying to us from the very start. Now what if he's insane? If that happens, can you live with yourself? This man killed on our patch for four years. He gets away with nothing. Nice to be listened to. Makes me feel human again. <laughs>